grass. Uh, this is the grassroots alliance for social sports. Uh, we're here at five o'clock in the morning, waiting for the bailiffs. You can see we've got the barricade. We've covered it in syrup, sugar, honey, in the hope that the bees can do the job that unfortunately we can't do here today. We do feel very strongly about this place. We're trying to stop the academy schools. There's the whole issue with the sports grounds and all the kids that are going to lose out this today. We've had kids over yesterday, we had a fate. People really, really enjoying the field. Parents were really supportive of us. Um, it's just a shame that, shame that uh, Wembley uh, community hasn't mobilised, but I guess it's because they're not informed by their, by their councillors. I don't know, it's a real shame, but we'll, we'll be back and this obviously isn't the end. The council are coming in here today and they're, they're obviously going to say that you're breaking the law by being here. Uh, what would your response to that be? We are the lesser of two evils quite obviously, and obviously this is from the perspective of the community, and we have to respect that, their views, but you know, this is just one of those things that has to be done, it is education, when it boils down to it, we are talking about the education of the whole next generation and this generation, I mean that's pretty important. I'm Tony McConville, the Director of Communications for the London Borough of Brent. The council has taken possession of the Wembley Park Academy site early this morning. It was currently occupied by three businesses whose tenancy at will agreements have been terminated by the council um, late last week. And basically the building of the temporary accommodation for school will be going ahead starting later on today and, and this week. Would you gentlemen like to make a statement for the press? No, thank you. I did see them get removed this morning. I wouldn't say they were physically assaulted. They were asked, they were asked to leave. If they refused to leave, then the bailiffs, um, you know, took them out. Where is your warrant of eviction? Don't come back in, please. Please, madam. Okay, we're looking around. Yes, it's, it's certainly around. It's yeah, around. I got it. I got it right. Eh? Let it go. Oh, be nice. That, that's that's big coming from you, mate. Yeah, congratulations, you are now celebrity. Uh, we got keys, don't worry about that. Oh, okay, that's good. Once once you're locked in there. But well, what about the press? Uh, there's one member of the press that's been uh, assaulted today. Well, I mean, that's that's nothing to do with the council. That's not the council's responsibility. My understanding is that the bailiffs asked people to leave this morning, and if they didn't, then they, um, you know, then they forcibly ejected them. with the house, which I believe is not a part of the same property. There was four squatters in there. 
They claim that they had no eviction orders and the first thing they knew this morning was bailiffs coming in with dogs to remove them from that building. They are illegally squatting in the buildings. If they are subject to the same possession order, then obviously there wouldn't be a problem with that. If that isn't the case, then we'll have to go and look into that at a later stage. John. And Katie. Well, we're walking with a start, the Katie head voices outside. And they're saying we're just going to break down the door if necessary. And then that's what they did, they broke down the door and they came in and said, I was still half naked and they busted down the bedroom door saying, you have to get out. They had a dog, yeah. There was one dog, he didn't actually come into the house. But he did, he came into the bathroom. Did he? They locked him up in the bathroom. Scared the life out of me when I went in there. So how did that make you feel? Scared. <sighs> Angry. I'm scared, I'm still shaking now. Like I say, I'll say again, they hit right regime about it all, you know, it was manhandling. Not even an ounce of civility about them. Were you actually given any warning, any eviction order on, no, on your None spot? whatsoever. No warning. I asked, I asked for the notice of eviction and he said, we don't have to show you nothing. But is, that's illegal, isn't it? It should be, because we have the notices up on the door saying that you cannot enter here, you know, the proper notices.